Hi, it's Samuel here, and today we are going to be reading Psalm 46 to Psalm 47. Without further ado, let's get into it. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, thou the, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters therefore roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with swelling thereof, cellar, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place for the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and die, and that, and that right early. The heartened rage, the kingdoms were moved. He's uttered, he uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of his hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. Come behold the works of the Lord, what desolate he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and quartered the spear in shudder. He burned the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the hurtan. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, seller. So verse 46 just basically talks talks about that the strength of God and how God is with us through every season, through every trial and through every tribulation. First chapter 47 says, O oh, clap your hands, O ye people, shout unto God with the voice of triumph. For the Lord most high is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue, he shall subdue subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loved, Shelah. God is gone up with a shout. The Lord will shout will, the God is come gone up with a shout. The Lord will sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises, sing praises unto our king, sing praises. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing give praise with understanding. God reigneth over the heaven. God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. The princes of the people are gathered together, even the people of God of Abraham, for the shields of the earth. Behold unto God, he is greatly exalted. Hallelujah. So, I just want to say this first to encourage people that God truly is still with you, no matter how it feels like. So, I've been getting a lot of things. We have all been going through a lot of things lately. We all need to remember who we are serving. The God that we are serving is not a God that will leave you behind. The God that we are serving is not a God that chastises the poor. It's not a God that punishes you, condemns you unfairly. He does not, he won't do anything that he knows that you will not escape from. You know, it's I I really saw something today and I saw a message and sometimes I with the way it was God punished someone I was like oh oh why 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 did you do like that oh yes I did I did say that but then God told me listen and learn why did I do that to that particular person. I do. I am not a tyrant. God told me I am not a tyrant. Number two, I am God. I can create and I can take away. Number three, I protect my anointed. He says that he will not leave me nor forsake me. He also says that he tampers justice with mercy. So if I, even with my nature, you should know that I do not do this to anyone. I do not willingly. Um, I am a God of justice, and I, I can. He can do it if he wishes, but he is not that. That is not his attitude. God is not. We should stop comparing God to how to all the false gods that we see, because God is not that them either. God is His own person, who has decided to dwell within us. We also need to remember that God does not lie. He is not a liar. So when he says that he loves you, he genuinely loves you. 
when he says that he will never leave you nor forsake you, he will not leave you nor forsake you. And when he says he's justice, he is justice. And he will discipline, but even in his discipline, he will never chastise you. Any any voice of chastisement that is making you feel, if you just feel anything that is not giving you a conv- a conviction is supposed to feel, is not supposed to feel like a worry. When you are worrying, you are worried to keep, continue to think over it, think over it, and it's not giving you rest. A conviction, however, although it hurts, yes, you feel refreshed. Oh, I did this, but thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving me this. Uh, that is what conviction is. Thank you for disciplining me. Thank you for... So because after you feel conviction, you are not supposed to feel extremely anxious. After you are convicted, of course, you can feel sad or oh, I did this and you can maybe shed a few tears but God, what God will never do is make that conviction give you anxiety, that is not God God will never ever, ever, ever ever, ever do something that will make you feel so bad you won't want to go back to him, that is not God, that is not God, that is not we need to discern it is not biblical and it's not from the word of God. Hmm. The Bible says, Do not fear for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will I will help you. I will put you with my righteous right hand. If if God says he will strengthen you, why would he give you something that will make you weak? Of course, in his weakness, he is made strong. Of course, he will do that. But he will never do something that will not make you acknowledge him. That will not make you come to him for help. He will never make you do something that you will just fall down. And you say, I give up. And he will never give you something so heavy that you won't be able to carry. And even with this self-temptation, he's always there to comfort you. So please, we need to remember that God is still on the throne. God is still on the throne. No matter with the new responsibilities, I know it might be very sudden. I know it might be very rash sometimes. I know you might not even understand it. But remember that God never said that we won't, we won't face new res- responsibilities, we won't face trials, we won't face challenges. But He promised we'll always overcome. So if not anything, lean on to it. No matter what, lean on to it. And remember the same God who brought you out of your Egypt, out of your bad place, is the same God who still has a destination to put you in the future where high, with higher places. But it's going to start with the journey. It's going to start with that journey. It's going to start with taking that first step. <sighs> it's a long road. But God will be with you every step of the way. You can guarantee that. He will be with you every step of the way. Have a great day.